What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a small opening with 2022 Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes once again. And I hope to pull something big. We already pulled some pretty decent cards already as you guys can tell um, from the last videos. But we're also going to do um, a mail day. I'm, uh, there's uh, Baseball Fan 75 Isaac sent me a, a care package here. So I do much appreciate it. Isaac, you didn't need to do that. I didn't really think I was going to get anything. I didn't expect anything. But we're going to go ahead and see what Isaac um, sent me. Um, but yeah, Isaac is, is really cool. Baseball fan, 75. He does a lot of die cast hunting, sports card huntings, and openings and such of those type of collectibles. But he does more things um, for his channel as well. But I, I think one of the things that I liked about Baseball Fantasy Five Isaac is the fact that he's really down to earth and one of the guys I kind of looked up to when I first started my channel a few months back. So he helped me out a lot and kind of gave me motivation to start my channel as well and do a lot of my personal rips and product reviews. But we're gonna go ahead and open this from uh, Baseball Fan Seventy Five. I'm gonna leave his description down below. So if you haven't subscribed to him, make sure you guys do. Um, really great videos and, and such, but um, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are subscribed to uh, Baseball Fan 75. So let's go ahead and see what he sent me. All right. I like the packaging, by the way. Very festive. Let me see if I could. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to look at the, the card here that he sent. Sorry, I had some personal info there, so I did make sure I locked it. All right. Cool card. Happy holidays. Love the snowman. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, Chance, what's up? Bro, thank you so much for uh, for just what wanted to wish you and the fam a Merry Christmas. Hope you've been good. Oh man, thanks. Thanks, Isaac. Much appreciated. He put a little uh, 2021 um, Chrome 5 Cards Major League Baseball 2021. So we'll, so we'll definitely open up that on the, on the channel for um, today for sure. Hope the season brings you lots of things to smile about. It just already did. Much appreciated. I did not expect that. Wow, that is awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Isaac. Thank you so much. Um, and let's go ahead and see what he sent here. I think I see Hot Wheels. <laughs> I didn't expect any Hot Wheels. But let's see what he, he sent there. Nice little package here. He packaged this really well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. So this is the this is actually one of my favorite uh designs. Um <laughs> uh, so this is one of the uh, tre uh, treasure hunts for high hot wheels. If you guys can see in the bottom right there, um it says, you know, it basically says, you know, congratulations, you found a treasure hunt. And that's how you know you found a treasure hunt. But this Impala is one of my favorite um Basically, one of my favorite treasure hunts, just because of the detail. It's one of the art designs on it. You, I don't know if you guys can see the detail. Just let me see if I can get... Yeah, look at that. That design. And you can see the little flame right there, hidden within the design of the florals. So, as you guys know, I'm a big import person, but I do love and respect all car builds. As well as, I like the older style cars, uh, cars in, for America at least. That's their, like for me wise, I love American Muscle and all the you know low riders and stuff. But I like the older versions of things in the in the past. I like older muscle cars and and something like this. I like the older cars of this this car right here, the um, not 58 Impala. I like older cars. It's not that I don't like American cars. It's just that I don't like a modern American cars. I like a lot of the old school american um cars and such and imports so the same thing with like a lot of european car stuff too i'm a big um i'm a big porsche guy so i love porsches um would be one of my dream cars one of these days but uh, i love cars if you don't know anything about me i'm a big car guy i collect a lot of car parts and build i'm currently right now i'm building my fk8 civic type r um 
and down the road i would love to get like a resto mod um one of my dream cars actually would be an a86 uh corolla gts uh, I would love to import one of those. Those is what got me into cars. But I'm, I would say I'm more of a Honda guy. I, my very first car was a, a 91 uh, Civic EF hatchback. Um, I would love to get one of those SIs once in, back in the days and, and try to build that. But I'm a big, big car guy versus, um, besides sports cars and everything. So I collect a lot of stuff. But thank you, Isaac. I much appreciate this. This is one, actually one of my favorite um favorite treasure hunts it was really i know it was for you it was really hard to kind of find these these were are very difficult to find but we're going to go ahead and open that pack that you sent me too hopefully i i could pronounce these names of these players correctly don't please don't uh, kill me for that but um hopefully i pull something pretty big uh um on this so let's go ahead and rip this uh once again you guys uh Baseball fan 75 make sure you guys subscribe to him if you haven't already I'm gonna leave his link down in the description um, As well just say just uh, hi to Isaac. He's I, I love the guy. He's such a great person um, Let's go ahead and open this though All right, so we got a rookie card of Sixto Sanchez Hopefully I said that right. I'm pretty sure I did a Tristan McKenzie, a Casey Mez, Charlie Blackman. I actually like the design of this. The design on this is actually really nice compared to uh, the new. Well, the new one's not bad either, but this is actually not that bad. And a Christian Yelch, and that is it, you guys. So we pulled two rookies. That's not bad. We'll definitely take it for sure. Where is my sleeves? I'm making that um, that noob mistake where uh, all my sleeves in here. Where is my sleeves? Am I top loaders? Oh, okay. give me one moment, guys. Sleeves and top loaders. and top loaders on the side i made a new mistake guys don't make that mistake you gotta always make sure you have your sleeves and top loaders ready but i ran through so much of it opened up this ba baseball um product uh but um the chrome this past week or so so i ran with, out with a lot of uh stuff here so much top loaders i go through i have basically like a trash bag i don't know how your your setup is in your studio but i have so much like I have so much bags for just all the boxes and stuff that I kind of go through. So thank you, Isaac. That was awesome. I did pull, you know, some decent stuff out of that. Some good rookies. Let's make sure we go ahead and top load those and sleeve them up. We'll sleeve all of these up right here. The three rookies right there. Let me know down in the comments what you guys collect. Who's your sports teams and what you guys collect too. Because I kind of want to know that. I kind of want to know what you guys collect. It kind of gives me a better understanding of what I should do more openings of. And also do more giveaways of. And that's the reason why I ask about, you know, your personal collections and things like that. Because that helps out the channel and everything as well. Um, and it, it provides a better um, understanding of what you guys do, you know. But overall, thank you, um, Isaac. I much appreciate it, brother. Thank you for the support and for your small gift right there. I That's really awesome. Uh, that's really cool. Um, but let's go ahead and start our next segment here. We're going to go ahead and open this uh, Bo 2022 Bowman Chrome Mega Box. Um, yeah. Still flabbergasted about that, Isaac. I, I do appreciate it. I hope to do something for Baseball 70, uh, Fan 75's channel um, in the near future. So do look out for that, Isaac. I, I might hit up you up and try to do something, either if it's a box battle or whatever it might be. I kind of want to do something for your channel as well. 
All right. So Bowman Chrome 2022. I know you guys have seen these. They're very expensive. They're very hit or miss. You only get basically two packs that has the, uh, the Chrome cards in it, and that's what you're looking for. Everything else is kind of like, you know, it's, it's, it's really hit or miss, like I said. But we, of course, hit a few times already, already as you guys could tell. We pulled that the Jackson Cherio, um, one of the top prospect guys, his auto, as well as that Trey Sweeney out of 25, another Trey Sweeney auto, um, the Del La Cruz Redemption, um, West Calf Auto, as well as the Loney White Jr. So we pulled some pretty big stuff so far um, from this product. Let's see if we could add on to that. I still have a lot of product left for this. I'm probably gonna keep some sealed though, just for my collection. I ran across about like 15 to this morning and it took so much of my nerve not to rip it, honestly. But we're gonna go ahead and do a quick rip here. I'm gonna go from the back. Hopefully we pull, could pull a Bobby Wet. <clears throat> Bobby Wet seems to be very hard to pull from this. Same thing with Julio uh, um, J-Rod. I think they make a lot more of like Siege or Abraham. You tend to pull those guys more than often um, than, you know, your Julio Rodriguez as well as um, uh, Bobby Witt. Uh, and same thing with Torkison. You, you probably don't pull much of him as well. But here we go, Jonathan India. Gonna start with Gavin Sheets, Gatel Marte, Edwards Cabrera, uh, Cal Rowley. Dang, the same um, variations that I've been kind of rip pulling of late. Come on, could we get Bobby Witt? Oh, Stephen Kahn. Yep, we pull him quite a bit too. Jaron Duran, we pull a lot. Jake Berger, we pull a lot. Um, come on, just one of the top guys here. Juan DeFranco or something. Oh, there we go. We pulled the Bobby Witt. There we go. Nice. On the chrome. Make sure we sleeve that up. Sorry, Marte, Matt Manning, uh, Valmir Goro Jr., uh, Jeremy Penna, okay, and Kyle Lewis. So not bad. We did pull some decent cards out of that right there. Let's go ahead and sleeve that up. So Jeremy Penna, I pulled so much. I think I have like 15 of them that are at this point. But I only have like maybe two Bobby Witts, which is insane. Shouldn't be like that, but it is like that. Let me know what baseball team you guys like. I know that you've been watching me rip a lot of this baseball. I don't know who you guys, who you guys PC, or who who you guys actually collect, or teams you actually follow. But let, we'll go ahead and put that on the standee here. Uh, the Bobby Witt, Jeremy Penna, boom. We'll go ahead and put that to the side. Just hit cards. I have so much cards just lying around everywhere. I do have to organize and get new um, boxes and dividers and such. But let's go ahead. You guys, we got that out of the way. Now, these are the two packs that you guys want. These have the mojo. These are going to have the big hits. Feast or Famine. Hopefully Feast. Let's take a drink. Okay, let's go. Oh, man. That's horrible energy drink. Okay, I don't think I have any color or anything here. Hopefully we pull some decent prospects though. Alex De uh, Azus. A uh, oh, nice, this is my first one. Um, uh, Jay Jason Churio. So this is the brother of Jackson Churio. I don't have his uh, first prospect card, so this is a big hit for me. Even though, you know, it's... And it's a Brian Acuna. I'll definitely take that. I don't have his card yet too, so this is already a win in my book. And a Nelson. Velasquez, not bad, not bad. All first, all first. Matt McLean, wow. Jeez, definitely take that. Sometimes it's really tough. Sometimes you get a whole bunch, you don't get any like first Bowmans or uh, first prospects. Um, sometimes you just get a whole bunch of uh, 
non-first Bowman cards. So I'm, I'm glad I got all of them were, you know, first. And you got to take that as a win, you know. I know it's 50 bucks. Um, I know some videos people are a little upset not being able to pull any color and stuff. But you hope to pull the first Bowmans. And if you get lucky and you pull the color, that's what... That's that's what you should expect. It's just being able to at least pull the first Bowman cards of some of these players' top prospects. Um, if you're able to pull like what I just did, just consider that as a win because it could be a whole lot worse. I promise you, it could be a whole lot worse. Some of my boxes or some of the ones I've seen, you just pull a whole bunch of vet, um, not vets, but non-first Bowmans. So I'm gonna top load those two guys. The other ones I will sleeve. We'll put that to the side there and put the um jason Ooh. so not bad not bad we're starting off pretty hot and we have one last pack here you guys one last pack kind of light though hopefully it's not all you know non-first bowmans so we can get some first oh wow more first bowmans okay we'll take that we don't have anything else i don't think nope so this is gonna be kind of a dud um eric hernandez but still like i said we pull first bowman's out here we'll take that james uh Tratos, an Ed uh, edison palano uh william Bergala, and a one ben cho so man all first bowman's you gotta think you gotta take that as a win you guys like honestly we pulled the bobby witt out of that we didn't pull any crazy number cards, but we pulled a ton of first uh, prospects out of there. Uh, first Bowman prospects. So I'm going to take that as a win. That's pretty darn good in my book, honestly. So let's go ahead and sleeve these guys up. This, that right there. Jimmy Penna. First off to start off is the pack that I got from um, Isaac from Baseball Fan 75. Um, the Sixto Sanchez rookie, Tristan McKenzie, uh, Casey Miz. And then we're gonna go with the uh, Juan Ben Cho first. James uh, Trentos, um, the Edison Polano, uh, William Borgala, we got the Eric Hernandez, Alex De Jesus, Nelson Velazquez, uh, Matt McLean, which we pull a lot of, the Jason Churio, nice, love that, Brian Acuna, first prospect one, and the Bobby Witt, as well as the Jeremy Penna, so not bad, you guys. Once again, thank you, Isaac. For sending me that that gift i much appreciate you guys i'm gonna leave his description down in the bit uh video and um yeah man it's uh this product has been fun but it is really tough so just be very careful i do suggest maybe opening a couple this year um if you have a chance maybe open up the light box is what i would say it's about 130 right now but you pull a lot of color a lot of prospect colors and such like as that no guaranteed autos of course but for 130 um, it's not that bad you guys especially if um, you're gonna go with a, any type of small hobby box or anything like that That's the way I would go I wish I could open one for you in the channel just haven't been able to acquire one yet Hopefully I can go to my local LCS one that's more um, You know more honest and see if I could kind of get one and, and do an opening for you guys but um, before I, I close here make sure you guys are going to give away number four um, I'm going to do the drawing on and do a video and a drawing on January 1st or 2nd is what I'm, I'm aiming for. And then I'm also going to do a video for the 100 subscriber that week. And then from a week from there is when I plan on doing the drawing for the 100 subscriber giveaway. So much appreciated guys. Once again, collect what you love and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.